I'm Janine McInerney. Um, I initially came to UDLC about 24 years ago with my family. It was Tim, my husband, and then our three kids, Kat, Nini, and Michael. And years later, when my parents moved to Pennsylvania, they joined with my brother, John. Well, we actually came to Upper Dublin by accident. Um, Kat was two years old and quite sassy. And um, Janine and Michael were four and they were going to pre-kindergarten at the time. And so she insisted that she should also be able to go to school. We belonged to a local Catholic church, but they didn't have a preschool program. And Livy Steffens was my neighbor and she mentioned UDLC. So that's how we came here. Um, Kat was signed up for the two-year-old classroom with Mrs. Dean, who is just phenomenal. Um, and the first week she went, and the two-year-old program was two days a week. So the first week she went, she came home and she was like, that's not enough. Janine and Michael get to go to school five days a week. I want to go more. So I had to go and ask if she could do two sessions. And UDLC was so gracious, they uh, agreed and they let her come for both sessions. So that's how we started here. In terms of what I was looking for, um, I grew up in North Jersey and always went to Catholic schools and Catholic churches, but it was very progressive there and Pennsylvania is not like that at all. And once we had kids, um, I really struggled because I wanted to make sure, particularly with two girls, that they grew up in an environment where you know, they were treated equally, and also that kids weren't just learning, weren't hearing lectures about Jesus' message, but really were, the church was acting upon that, those messages. And that's what UDLC does, we know. They, our church does the actions. Um, and so that, to me, is just such a much better way for kids to really absorb um, the message. Appalachian Service Project, the girls went on that for years and it's one thing to talk about you know people that struggle or you know uh, don't have the same opportunities that you have but for the kids to see that and also for them as high school kids at that point to be able to take a week and help a family. Again, I think that really drove home the message of in every, no matter your age, we can all find ways to help. And then Chosen 300, you know, my brother John um, is uh, has a learning disability, and so when they um, moved here, he came to Chosen 300 to serve the food. He was blown away. I mean, this was the first time where he didn't need help, but he could help others. And the friendship um, that he developed with first with uh, Sandy Silberger and then Nancy Fortuno. I mean, he loves coming to church on Sundays because he gets to see his friends. Really, it's how robust the program is, no matter what age you are or what stage in life you are, from a parent that has little kids um, to maybe a busy mom that just appreciates um, being able to pop in and listen to 15 minutes of a sermon with, with her kids to um, later when you have more free time being able to, um, you know, do more things and, and spend, uh, contribute more hours and, and get fulfillment by things like Chosen 300. Um, that is, I think, so invaluable. Upper Dublin is such a vibrant church and it's not stagnant and really um, the financial gifts focus on two things. One, having the resources and also the facilities to really assist others and make, you know, help people in their lives. And that's wonderful. Mm -hmm.